everybody, my name is Harry Halliday and I'm a first year business management with law student currently studying at Leeds Beckett University. Today I'm going to be talking to you all about myself as a customer and the psychology behind all the purchases that I make. Imagine knowing that I can simply just roll out of bed in the morning when I'm hungover and pop down to Greg's for my breakfast. Here my purchases are habitual and require little to no thought as it is just simply routine problem solving. We must first ask, what is marketing? Kotler defines marketing as managing profitable relationships with customers. He states that the aim of marketing is to create and capture value for the customers. This is very similar to another definition, one by Brassington and Pettit. They state that marketing is about giving the customers what they want, identifying and anticipating customer requirements. However, marketing is a very broad term and will therefore mean different things to different people so there will not be one straight definitive answer. The first stage is problem recognition. I must first realise that there is a difference between my ideal and current state of affairs. In this case, my problem here is hunger, which is the first physiological need that Maslow draws upon in his hierarchy of needs. This problem can be solved, however, by purchasing a product so that I am ready for the day ahead of me. After recognising that there is a problem, the next step for me is to conduct an information search. This simply consisted of me going onto my phone and scrolling through Google Maps to try and locate a place that was going to tailor to my needs of being tasty, quick and easy. Also has a new range of sandwiches, wraps and salads that all have health ratings on them. This caters towards the needs of the health conscious consumer as it means that they can see the content of what they are eating. However, this health conscious consumer is not me. <laughs> Instead, I will be going for the classic steak bake for an unreal price of £1.50. When considering products, there is great diversity that virtually caters to every single need, including the all new vegan sausage roll, which has helped fuel its, Greg's profit boom for 2019, according to the Guardian newspaper. The final stage is the post purchase evaluation. This is the part after the purchase where the customer will take further action based on their experience and um, whether or not they were satisfied with the product. After eating my steak bake, I would like to say that Greg's excelled my expectations and because of this, I will happily make a repeat purchase, uh, refer some of my friends to the product, or maybe even try some of the other products. However, it would be wrong to assume that there are no other factors that affect my decision making in the macro environment. Pestle is a framework used to analyse the external environment. Greg's appealed to me greatly as a student because of my current financial situation and because of the fact that I am pretty skinned. <laughs> a technological factor that Greg's have implemented is that gives them a competitive edge is their click and collect app. This development has increased my loyalty to Greg's as it means that I can pre-order my food while lying in bed and so that it is ready for me on collection. There is also points on the app that will reward you for spending at Greg's, which is obviously a major incentive. Now, that is all for now. I'd just like to thank everyone for watching, and I hope that you've enjoyed my video and that you enjoy the rest of your day.